What's up, people, and welcome to Battletech. So, I'm a little bit under the weather, which is why it's not my usual, uh... Yeah, what's up, people? Welcome to Battletech. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, one thing I've noticed is... Actually, I just want to bring this up first, is that somebody brought up whether or not most of these cheats or cheat tables will play it or work in an online play. And I wanted to put a disclaimer out there that I do not recommend cheating in any sort of, uh, multiplayer environment just because uh, you know a lot of times the online play is tied to a server somewhere and you don't know what sort of uh, anti-cheat methods they have in place there so I don't recommend it all the cheats I use I always do in multiplayer you know for my own benefit not to uh, affect anybody else so there you have it uh, I wanted to start out with by saying that this game, again, Battletech, updated not too long ago, and it essentially rendered all the cheat tables and trainer options unusable. Uh, Wii Mod doesn't work, uh, cheat tables from Freeless Revolution don't work, but just because they don't work doesn't mean you can't still edit values. And I wanted to show you what to do when Cheat Engine doesn't behave the way you want it to. And as you can see, once you finally get to the uh, you know command center type options here, where you can upgrade and buy stuff, and do whatever, you should have right around nine hundred eighty thousand. So let me go ahead and open up BattleTech here, and we're gonna do the first scan for nine hundred eighty thousand. and there's quite a few values there. Now, if this was behaving the way it should, we should be able to buy something small like this. New weapon systems available. Change the value to 958,000 and then scan for that. But, as you can see when you do a next scan, there's nothing there. And you can keep doing that and it'll just coming up empty. So we're gonna have to do a new scan here. 958,000. Close the game out. Uh, let's go ahead and buy something else. New Down weapon systems available. 892,000. Now you see there's a lot more values again. So one thing we can do is value decreased by and let me see if this works honestly I've never done this so if we're at 892,000 let's say it decreased by 22,000 new weapon system yeah there's nothing there so, 870,000. Still quite a few there. Uh, let me buy something big. New equipment. 386,000. Okay, so that's, that's manageable here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add each one of these to the table at the bottom there. And they should all be there, hopefully. Let's just make sure. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven values. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven values. Okay. So, I'm just going to change this to right under a million, and I'm going to control C, and we're just going to control V on every single one of these. Now, this is trial and error. You might have to try a couple times. I know I did. 
uh, before I finally got it right. Okay, so now all those are changed. As you can see, we're still at 386,000. Uh, let me go ahead and buy this. New weapon systems there we go. Available. 977,999. So one of those values is in fact tied to the amount of money that you have to your funds. And looking again at the values here, you can see that none of these are any different. Nothing changed here. Nothing changed up here other than what we manually did. So this is a method of troubleshooting for every single game, not just Battletech. If you wanted to, you could easily go into you know Resident Evil or any game that has some sort of currency. And as long as that currency isn't tied to a server, you know, to the point where there's microtransactions and you can use it to purchase stuff from their store or whatever, and it's just tied to stuff in game, you can easily go in there and start, you know, messing around with those values and trying to figure it out. I mean, the only thing I recommend is getting it down to a manageable number like this. Uh, this is about as good as it's going to get, at least with Battletech. Sometimes you can narrow it down to four values, sometimes you can narrow it down to five. You know, as long as it's something small that you can just copy paste all the way through. Uh, you can see that these values changed here. I'm not sure why, and I'm not sure if any of those are tied to the uh, funds value. But uh, yeah, there you have it. That's one way of troubleshooting with Cheat Engine if you want to give yourself more money. So. I know this works, I just showed that it works. Uh, you know, if you're trying to play Battletech and give yourself some more money, this will work. You might have to do it a couple times. I had to reload the save that I created twice until I found a number that worked. And, you know, I mentioned it's not an exact science, you gotta play with it. But once you kinda know what you're doing, you know, you can make it work. So, thanks for watching everybody, and as always, until next time, goodbye.